This video will show you how to download and install Brackets, which is a free code editor that you might want to use for your web development projects. So you can either search for Brackets in Google, and it should be the very first thing that comes up, or you can go directly to Brackets.io. Now Brackets is made by Adobe. Um, which is kind of cool because they make um, Dreamweaver as well and this is somewhat in competition to Dreamweaver but not too bad uh, so you're gonna just click the blue button that says download brackets and this should be customized for your operating system that you're using this can be used on um, OS systems such as my, um, my Windows uh, Linux or Macs so that's kind of cool. All right, and it shouldn't take very long to download here. And then we're just going to go ahead and install. And I just need to put it in my right spot here. For most of you, the default location should be fine. And then go ahead and install that. You don't have to have any accounts set up or anything like that for brackets, so we are happy to do that. And just give it a minute to install, and then it's going to, if you didn't change anything, it will place a icon on your desktop, and you should see it also in your Windows um, Start menu. I'm just going to pause while this is installing. Okay, when it's finished, you'll see a notification that it was finished, and then you should see it come onto your screen. I don't see it there. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so this is what Brackets looks like when you first open it up. It's going to have a uh, test web page that is available as kind of a sample and it also gives you some tips about how to get started with brackets. A couple things that I want to point out if you want to close a file such as the one that's currently open you can hover over the file name and there will be a little X that shows up you can click that X and that file will close. Okay. Um, if you want to create a new file similar to most programs you can do file new and you can start coding. Now there's lots of um, things that you might do if you're like me and you want to have bigger uh, font because your eyes are going bad in your old age. You can hit um, control plus plus and just keep hitting it and then your text will get very big which is which is nice. Uh, I'll, similarly you can do control minus minus and you just hold the control button down and press minus many times so you can make those adjustments. There's also some other things that you can adjust um, with like the themes if you it has it defaults to light but if you prefer a dark background with light font you can go ahead and do that. Oh and look there's a nice little thing here that tells you your font size. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is that Brackets doesn't know what type of program you're going to be coding in. If you take a look at the bottom here, it says the uh, text and you can click on text and you can see all the different types of programs that you can you can code with Brackets. So for us, we definitely want that to be HTML for the first uh, couple weeks that we're going to be working with HTML files and you can either change it through this drop down menu or you can just go up to file save as and you can save it as an HTML file you'll need to actually put html.html so if this was your page and you wanted to do like chapter one practice dot html that is how you would save it you would save it as type all files and then you would navigate to the folder that you have set up for your classwork okay and then click save now a couple things to to take note of when we are naming files in HTML this is actually a pretty long file name and uh, I don't necessarily need it to be that long but 
there's something that I'm going to comment and say over and over throughout the next few weeks, uh, next few months, is that your files should be all lowercase letters and they shouldn't have any spaces in them because these file names end up becoming your URL for your web page. So this is what will be seen in your browser. So once you start putting spaces or capital letters in your file names, it ends up confusing the web server because more than likely we're going to be publishing our files to a Linux web server and Linux is sees a capital letter and a, and a small letter as two completely different um, characters. So whereas in in Windows it's not that big of a deal. In Linux it's a big deal and Linux also doesn't like spaces and neither do URLs. So, so take note, write this down somewhere, put it in your book. Um, all files should be lowercase letters with no spaces and your HTML files should all end in .html as the file extension. If you named it .txt for text, that isn't going to open up in a, in a browser as an HTML document. You'll just see your uh, HTML code instead. Okay, so that is the first video getting set up in brackets. And uh, one last thing that I want to show you, and let me, let me look for one last thing about, okay, no. Okay, I want to open that page that I had already closed. I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to open that index.html. So this is the page that came up when we first opened um, the, the brackets tool. And you'll see here that all of the, the tags, these are called HTML tags, they are all highlighted in blue. And what's cool is most HTML tags have an opening tag and a closing tag. So like here on line 13, this says H1, and that's an opening tag. And then the H1 closing tag looks very similar, but it has a slash in it. So this is a, this is a good introduction into a simple tag. H1 is a heading, and that makes a large, bold font um, at the, on your page whereas H2 is also a heading but it's slightly smaller so um, the way that the reason we're going to use brackets for this class is because it has this cool feature this little Harry Potter lightning bolt and if you click on it it's going to give you a live preview of the page so this is really helpful to kind of see the preview as you're working along with your code so you're going to get this button that says, okay, it's going to launch in Google Chrome. So you need to have the Google Chrome browser installed on your computer in order for this to work. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And what this is doing is it is showing me the sample page that this um, HTML document you can see here. Here's that H1 getting started with brackets. Here is the H2. This is your guide and so on and so forth. Then we have P, which is a paragraph. That's your first paragraph. Um, one last thing I want to mention to you is if you right click on a browser on anything that's text, if you do this on an image it's probably not going to work, so sometimes I like to go off into the sides. Um, Google Chrome, this you're seeing a Google Chrome menu here, has a view page source. So once you click on view page source you'll get something instead of HTTP, you'll get something that says view source and you'll see the actual HTML file which should look very similar to our code editor. Okay, The only difference here is our code editor makes it nice and pretty with colors and things like that whereas the view source in the browser is just um, basic text. So view source will for purposes of what you might want to look at and what I look at when I'm grading your papers is I'll go into view source to kind of get an idea what your code looks like without you having to send me the file. So as long as we have a, a file up um, on 
the internet on a website I can see it. Now this file right here is local to our computer and anything that you develop in brackets you're going to save to your computer or to a flash drive. Once you uh, get to the point in the class where we start using a web server you're going to take that file and any of the associated files with it such as images or style sheets things like that and you're going to upload those to the cloud to your web server and then you'll you'll create a URL for that web page by uploading it and you'll send me that URL so that's how we're going to be exchanging files um, in a few weeks okay hopefully this got you started got you feeling a little more comfortable with brackets and how to install and um, and use brackets thanks bye